So what is the best profitable product on Amazon that you can sell, period? If you want to know the answer, watch this video because I'm going to tell you guys some things that's going to blow your mind away. Alright, let's get right into it. If you're watching this channel, it's because you want to learn about Amazon, how to find profitable products, how to sell on Amazon, what strategies to implement, and what things to watch out for. And if you're watching this channel, most likely you're a newbie and you haven't started on Amazon FBA and you want to learn the business, period. So let's get down to business. Now, if you guys know what Amazon is about, first of all, it is about finding profitable products and reselling them. That's it, guys. You're going to buy from an overseas supplier, you're going to bring it to an Amazon FBA warehouse, and you're going to sell it for a profit, ideally 50% and above. So what are those products that actually sell a ton of units per day for you guys that can make you a lot of money in a short period of time? Now, you watch YouTubers like myself, and you are so excited, you're pumped about it, you know there is money in this business. You go home, you log into Amazon, only to find out there are millions of products. Now, how to differentiate between the clutter that actually doesn't sell and the profitable products that do sell on Amazon? And how to find them, which is one of the main struggles that a lot of Amazon FBA sellers run into. I even run into it at times, but I have my techniques that I've proven to find those products. Now, today I'm going to share a different kind of secret with you guys. Today I'm going to tell you guys what is the most successful and profitable product on Amazon that you can sell. I've been asked this question a lot and people ask me, hey Tom, can you give me a list of products that I can sell? I'm like, sure, but like, if you don't follow what I'm going to talk about in this video, I cannot give you that list. I'm telling you guys, you need to know the information in this video in order to be able to utilize the list that I'm going to give you in a very effective way and make a lot of money on it. To understand the whole process, I want you guys to grasp the concept of demand and supply, or as a lot of people call it supply and demand. Now it is from economics. These, this term is the very basic foundation of any business you start, doesn't matter online or offline, does not matter. You need to understand that you need to find a product that it is really high in demand at that given time but the supply is low, meaning that there are not enough sellers on Amazon and there is a hole in the market that you can fill in. That's the first key you guys should need to remember. So a lot of the product research that we do is to figure out what is high in demand and what has low supply and where there is rooms that you can get in and sell the same product for a beautiful profit that you can pocket. So understand that term, understand that the idea behind supply and demand, understand how actually it, it really controls everything in the market. It's all about supply and demand. It's a need that arises or a want that arises and there are people who fulfill that need and fill into it, right? Filling in the gap. So here is the secret sauce or secret recipe for product research. The best product to sell on Amazon is not a product that is found but created. Now I repeat that, the best product to sell on Amazon is not a product that is found but it's actually created. What do I mean by that? Like you guys must be going like, what the hell time? I thought there is a product that I can sell. Every product that you see on Amazon has been in some shape or form created initially by somebody. The market is saturated guys. It is absolutely true. A lot of people will tell you this, that the market is saturated, but there are ways to find that you can actually build a, lot, a list of profitable products on Amazon to sell. Because the market is saturated, that does not mean that you cannot reinvent the wheel in a better way. So what do we mean by that? I mean product differentiation and bundling. These are the two concepts that actually determines whether you're going to have a profitable product or not. Now, you're going to find products that you can sell for a lot of money, right? But the best products to sell and make a lot of money on are the products that are created. So, for example, one gentleman was selling these plastic cups. I'm going to give you examples. Now, Adam Fisher actually has a video about this and I'm going to post the link for you guys because that is an absolute beautiful example. He is an amazing, amazing Amazon seller and he's a great mentor. I look up to him as well. He's got a lot of 
the information that I admire, that I have, I've gone through and I understand what he's trying to do and he wants to get it to the stage where I am and he wants to make a lot of money, he wants to make millions. So he has a lot of great information. I'll post the link below so you guys can check out that specific video. Now, the plastic cup story is that one guy saw that this plastic cup, okay, anybody could buy it anywhere, right? But the kicker is that the other seller got into the market, saw a unique opportunity. All he did was put a golden ring around it and now he can sell it to a different market. Now the plastic cup is not a cup that can be used for water or just like everyday use. Now that cup is actually used to drink champagne out of in parties, right? When they want to use disposable cups, they can actually buy that specific product because that simple, simple modification by putting a gold ring around it all of a sudden opened up another dimension, another market that that product could be used at, right? That is what I mean by differentiation. He saw the opportunity and made the product better. That is a winning profitable product. That is what I mean when I say it's not found, a best product is created. He created something new. Now you don't have to completely reinvent the wheel. You just take a product that is doing really well find another way to use that product. Now, the second way we can do this is by bundling our product. One of the things that I have done in my previous, um, in my previous product sales is uh, one example that comes to mind is the light bulb camera that I sold. What I did is I started selling this camera with actually the SD card that you can record a, a lot of memory on. So like I would sell this uh, light bulb camera which I've told you guys about and adding a 64 gig SD card allowed people to actually record events, record uh, like a full 24 hours worth of depending if you're doing HD or low quality and that allowed me to create a product that is bundled together that I can sell for a higher price. A lot of people would sell the two separately but nobody at that time when I was doing this, this is four years ago, a lot of people did not realize that you can actually combine the two together because somebody who's buying the bulb, which gives you live feed, um, you also need a SD card eventually if you wanted to record for a 24, 7, 24 hour loop, right? So that's the opportunity I saw and that's how I made my product better and differentiated in the market. Not only I combined, I turned the price of my product into a higher price, now they don't have to go to another seller's page to buy the SD card separately. I made sure to upsell and keep that um, seller into my listing, into my catalog and actually sell the two products together so they don't have to go somewhere else to get it separately. That's what I mean guys, by creating something different. Now, you can find profitable products, but you have to think about how you can combine it and take it to the next level. That upper level notch is where your six and seven figure sellers comes into play. That's where your business mindset and that's where your eco economics acumen comes into play where you can actually create something way better than what everybody else is doing. Again guys, this video is to tell you guys what is the best product that you can sell on Amazon. And again, it is not a product that you can find. It is a product that can be created by bundling and differentiating it, by recreating it into another product that can be used for a different niche or for a different use that there, you know there is a high demand for it, but there is a low supply. So a lot of times what happens is when you actually create your own product or bundle, right? There is no supply in the market because you are thinking brand new about this product. Most likely there's probably one or two sellers that have probably thought the same idea, maybe slightly different. So when you get into that kind of market, all of a sudden you hit a place where you can actually sell that product profitably for a while. Now, one thing about Amazon that a lot of people don't talk about is that product is not gonna stay profitable forever because once somebody does it, a lot of people follow suit, meaning that they are going to start doing the same thing, they're going to replicate your model and then all of a sudden you have a saturated market. That's why Amazon is all about finding profitable products all the time so you always have something new to sell, something great to sell and something profitable to sell because after all, we're all doing this to make money. If there was no, if there was no money in it, we would not be doing it. We would be anywhere else but on Amazon trying to sell products. 
I hope you guys learned something very valuable today. I hope this is going to help you guys take your online business or Amazon business to the next level. And I hope you guys let me know what do you think of this video, if it has helped you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe so you can actually get notifications to my new videos which come out. I do three times a week, three videos a week is going to come out. So my new schedule is Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. We're going to do it at 3 o'clock sharp. Thanks again guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.